Welcome back, and this is the update for the first part of the week. So here we have uh, Zach just uh, working on the new um, plug for the rear bulkhead or aft bulkhead. It's just uh, has a guide coat sprayed on there, and he's just uh, sanding that smooth so it'd be ready for primer. So that one moved along fairly quickly. And there he is again. <laughs> he's pretty busy. Um, so here we were yesterday uh, working on um, putting a coat of uh, or a layer of fiberglass on the plug for the uh, main spar so that went pretty quick yesterday it wasn't that complicated to do so we just sort of knocked that out yesterday afternoon and uh, so pe some people were asking about the spar and I'll give you some more details about that shortly here's the um, the mold for the forward bulkhead and that's been popped from its plug there uh, obviously the edges need to be all cleaned up and trimmed off and then the wax profile needs to be removed from that one. And then likewise, here's that one for that little uh, brace, um, which is, goes between the rear bulkhead and the um, rear pressure bulkhead. And there's the main spar all uh, glassed up. So this main spar is 16 feet long and it extends about halfway along uh, each of the wings and it mates up with a, a spar that's actually inside of each of the wings. So the Basically, you know, the wing has its own separate spar that goes all the way up the winglet as well. And the wings are removable, but you won't want to be trailering this thing because you'd have a 16 foot wide um, sort of article that you would be towing because that's, that main spar is that wide. Okay, so there's the, um, the rear aft bulkhead pretty much done and just needs a little bit more detail work before we can get primed. And then next thing today, uh, Jeff pulled out the, the putty rig again and uh, sprayed um, the main spar there so we already can put it back on the mill so it didn't take too long to do that and getting in a good rhythm with uh, you know making plugs and spraying them so it doesn't take that long and here it is up on the machine so starting off the first pass there just doing all the face cuts first and someone's probably wondering why are you using the big long mill well our short mill is getting a little bit dull so I've ordered a new one, so we always have one, and then, and then the current one will be going um, and off to get sharpened again. So I wanted to have a nice sharp one, so using the long one there. And here we are with the uh, ball end mill doing the swarf cut on the uh, side face there of the uh, main spar. And the reason I'm using the ball cut again is so when it gets down into the corner there, it leaves a nice radius instead of just leaving a 90 degree um, turn which makes it easier for us uh, later on when we're sanding and painting and actually when we're um, pulling the the plug I mean I'm sorry pulling the mold off of there so uh, yeah that didn't take uh, much effort to do this little swarf cut here and you can see this is a it's doing actually five passes I think I set it up to five passes where it steps down about uh, just a little bit more than half an inch each time that way it's not sort of overtaxing uh, the bit by trying to cut too much at once so here you'll see it'll step down to the next level and go back up again and those cuts came out nicely and here's the guys uh, cleaning the wax profile out of the uh, channels that they create on the these are on the, the floor braces and so those channels are so when we create um, the the actual part we can put a latex seal around there and, and we'll actually run into those channels and create a good uh, vacuum seal and then we can reuse that um, that latex um, sort of seal instead of having to put a plastic bag on there every time for vacuuming and because we changed the aft bulkhead um, we had to make an adjustment to this rear pressure bulkhead because it's now it's, it's simpler than it was going to be before so we actually um, had it on the mill and I didn't get any footage of that but just knocked off um, a couple of inches off the back there and we're going to be basically flattening that out building it up a little bit putting it back on the mill and uh, reworking that a little bit so that won't take too long and finally this is how we left things uh, this evening with um, a few paths left to run on the seno section of the main spa so in the morning we'll be um, running the rest of the swarf cuts on the other side Anyway, thanks for watching.